Welcome to our AppDynamics tip of the month. This month our tip is on Dash Studio. I'm going to show you how we can utilize Dash Studio for time comparison analysis. So what is Dash Studio? Dash Studio is AppDynamics next generation dashboard. It is designed to make the building of dashboards faster and easier. It gives us an improved ease of design for faster times of value, enhanced data interactions for richer insights, and reusable components for efficiency. Why comparison analysis? As our customers experience simplifies, application complexity is exploding. This drives relentless code releases, introducing constant change. Having the ability to compare application performance across multiple time ranges gives us the ability to quickly and clearly understand and identify the performance of our application, the performance of change, and whether that change has enhanced performance or has degraded performance. Dash Studio is located under Dashboards and Reports. When in Dash Studio to create a new dashboard, click on the plus. I've already created a dashboard in advance, so let's edit. Let's double click and then go to edit. The first thing we're going to do is create a dashboard variable and dashboard variables is quite a useful feature which gives us a more dynamic approach to how we can view our data within live dashboards. Variable name is BT which is short for business transactions. We're focusing on business transactions in the dashboard variable and we're going to select a random business application and business transaction. Selecting show in view mode allows us to utilize and work with the dashboard variables when the dashboard is live. The widget we are going to use is a time series graph which allows us to view values over time. The data we're viewing is business transactions related once more. We're going to keep the business application consistent. Select named. And instead of selecting a business transaction, we're selecting the dashboard variable that we just created, which is $BT. The metric is average response time. That's what we want to view. And let's measure that against a baseline. I'll select daily trend. And now we can see the performance of the business transaction checkout against its baseline. Now we want to compare it against a time range. So on the right hand side, select compare time range, select time shift, and let's push it back for a week. So now the performance of the business transaction checkout in one graph is being compared against the performance of the same business transaction minus one week. If we click on view, and make the dashboard live, now we can see the dashboard variable. So let's select this, deselect checkout, and let's select another business transaction. And we get a similar view once more, but this time it's comparing the login business transaction against the login business transaction from this time last week. You can find out more about Dash Studio and all its capabilities by following the links in the description below. I hope you found this tip of the month useful and if you have any questions please feel free to reach out to your customer success representative or your AppDynamics account team. Thank you very much for watching.